Each country has its iconic figure of national terror. For Russia, it's the Baba Yaga. The Middle East has the Jinn. While America's children have nightmares over Freddy, Jason, and Michael. If you're British, one folkloric character looms larger than the rest, as deeply embedded into our cultural identity as the Green Man or King Arthur, and yet a mere three decades old. I am, of course, speaking of this clumsy bastard. A kaiju shrunk to human form. Norman Wisdom as a walking tumour. Blobby was first summoned to our world in 1992 as part of Noel's house party's gotcha pranks. But deploying the comedic one-two punch of falling on the floor and pulling other people onto the floor, Blobby's immediate popularity saw him supersede Edmonds to become the real star with a number one single and now long since abandoned theme park which is more than Robin Goodfellow could ever claim, the fairy prick. Blobby's lifespan would extend far beyond the bounds of House Party, and following its cancellation in 99, he broke out as a rogue agent of chaos, turning up on random programs to knock things over. Like Shrek, his power as a meme only increased over time, and some remain fascinated with pulling back the curtain, Despite maintaining a strict kayfabe, as we all do with the Muppets, there have been a handful of glimpses. Barry Killaby, the man inside, was once papped on his doorstep with a suspiciously large holdall. An old skin was photographed in a skip outside the BBC. And one time, Live and Kicking accidentally cut to a nude blobby, voice modulator and all, caught mid-rehearsal. Mr. Blobby, where have you gone? Uh, Mr. Blobby. It's water features? What's that? Water, water features? I don't think he understands what a water feature is. Can you show him? Excellent. He's okay. You just stay there. No, you don't need, you've got to go out to shop to get the water. I think she goes. Hello, look at you! But for those seekers of Blobby lore, the real truth is tucked away in a series of VHS tapes released during the house party years. The tape, simply entitled Mr. Blobby, hit shelves in November of 1993, ready for the Christmas market. It's here we learn, through an opening Star Wars crawl, that Blobbies have been around since dinosaur times, and are the oldest species on the planet by many millions of years. There's a focus on Blobby's early days as a prank provocateur, bothering the likes of Wayne Sleep and Garth Crooks. Must be Garth's worst TV experience since being sat next to Sir Jeff Hurst when he used the N-word. Uh, but saying the West Germans, I think, probably the only team mm -hmm the way they're playing, are capable of beating the Italians on their home soil. But that's without the in the wood pile, our own little club here, and their little nation that's got a great chance. But like the first scary bungle, the original Blobby is somehow more sinister than the crashing blancmange we know, with its strange, deep voice, and clinging to the last vestiges of human speech. Now just mix us all together. Oh, do another one. This early iteration of the costume has skinny, separate sleeves, which allow you to see into his shell. And the legs are just big wellies. Woo! Oh, yeah, well, you're not going to end up facing the back of the blob. What the good Christ is going on there? It's like seeing his fucking guts. Oh, your booty wooties! Oh, 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 here we go! Oh, oh. That's it. As time went on, presumably chained in the basement at Crinkly Bottom Manor, 
forced to glean sustenance from slivers of gunge dripping through the floorboards, Blobby became more beast than man. What little remaining humanity faded, along with the ability to form coherent speech, left, like poor Hodor, with a single word for every situation, for every emotion. Oh, oh, Blobby. But some moments in Blobby Law make no sense. Yeah? Do you want yeah. to try that? No. No, no, I don't no, think we'll try no. that one. And the prince promises to rescue her. The magician stops the rescue. A shackle! That was terrible! Where's the red card? Where's the ref? As with crippling debt or a throbbing pain in your ball, it's best to just put it out of your mind. Needing more than the house party skits to fill an hour's tape, the rest answers the question everyone, meaning me, asks all the time. What if Noel Ernest Edmonds had a sketch show? Oh, Blobby! Blobby, what have you done? You... Blobby, you... Oh, for goodness sake! But Blobby's solo pieces are massively half assed A real, what if Blobby went shopping? Be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> the sheer laziness is perhaps understandable, as they could have just had him rolling down a hill for an hour and people would have bought it. Still, the weight of the BBC behind them and Blobby's running round empty shops when they're closed of a Sunday for absolute bargain basement slapstick. Mr. Blobby is ready to join his aerobics class. All right, heels above, heels above, pick it up. Pick it up. Most of it's clearly made up on the day, like the props round in Whose Line Is It Anyway? <laughs> Mr Blobby is about to take a relaxing sauna. That's not Blobby cum, is it? Mr. Blobby! <sighs> Looks like he's overdone it with the steam again. But what can you say about Mr. Blobby? Or as the fans call him, Blozza. I mean, every generation... That means something else entirely where I'm from, mate. through the video, we get to the real meat, which is a showcase for one of comedy's great forgotten double acts. Plus there's a look at Blobby's actual house. That sort of paperwork! Blobby, Blobby, Blobby! What we need is a bucket of paste. This is all very exciting, as every slapstick great has done a wallpapering skit. The Stooges, Laurel and Hardy, the Chuckle Brothers, Norman Bruce at the Palladium. Yeah, very funny. Remember, take the top of the paper and let the roll fall to the ground. Oh. 
Wonder which relative he flayed for that. One time, I was in the public toilets and noticed this hole in the cubicle. Once I'd finished my whittle, curiosity got the better of me, and... I was so livid, I went back every day for weeks. In another sketch, the lads assemble a garden shed, and what a treat to physical comedy. Oh. Now kindly pass me that rake, Blobby. Oh. Oh. Thank you very much. A blob! Oh. 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 I said don't move! Oh. Another oh. job well done. Blobby, Blobby. Right, what's next? Oh. Oh. An NTV skit visits the man at home which fills in more gaps, though it's a different house from before. Hello, Mr. Bobby. Boom. Hello, Mr. Bobby. Hello. Judging by the picture of the Queen, Blobby is a monarchist. And, and here's, here's, Mr. here's Mr. Blobby as a little boy at school. And seemingly, Blobbies naturally have hair, so Mr. Blobby went bald. No wonder he's so angry all the time. An advisor, an advisor to the famous. Whoa, hold on. Blobby's a Tory. Oh yeah, and they've got a baby. Confirmed, Mr. Blobby's had sex. He's done it. He's got a fully working knob. The video ends with Blobby going on holiday. It's a pleasure to have you on board, and um, would you care to have a look in our cockpit? Hello, Bobby. You flying the plane? <laughs> no, I thought not. I am. Nineteen ninety-four saw the sequel, titled. Blobby Vision, which focused more on parodies. TV shows, adverts, movies, anything other comedians got bored of ten years ago was now up for grabs again. I wash one half in my usual powder and the other half in new Blobby Automatic. That old favourite, Postman Blob. Blobby! This is just your average yodel driver these days. This is Blobby C1, a part of the Blobby Vision Network, blobcasting on the Blobsat satellite to over 500 million homes worldwide. Oh, Blobby! Blobby, Blobby, Blobby! blobby. <laughs> I'd forward that one to the police if I were you. What was I doing under the desk? Blobby, blobby. I was looking for your clanger. We just saw his clanger. Yes. What day is it today? Mm. What day is it today? Typical Noly. Gotta let viewers know the crew are having fun too. Yeah, there. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mr. Blobby. <laughs> There's a bunch of sporting skits. A snooker sketch involving really poor, ill-planned slapstick with Elon Musk. Wrestling with Bomber Pat Roach. And I can't believe Big Popper Pump Scott Steiner never did this spot. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. One, two, one. 
darts. Interesting choice of number. And that's not Mrs. Blobby bent over, is it? It's a wonder he could pull anyone with those filthy feet. The tape's Peace to Resist Ants is a lengthy Baywatch parody, taking up a third of the entire runtime. What makes a man like a man is it in his heart? Could we be born with our future right from the start? <laughs> 90s Queen Joe Guest on the left. Thanks to this sketch, there'll be some out there for whom Blobby Vision was a sexual awakening. Some who in a low moment, when their family went out to the shops. And this bit does go on for a suspiciously long time. Of note here is the roundly incredible acting from bit part players. Oh, Blobby, I'm sorry, I won't see you. How can I make it up to you? Throughout all the tapes, it's clear they just roped in the day's extras, who often give interesting performances. Oh. Not on your Nelly. <laughs> I used to have one, but I put it in the washing machine and now I've got three. It's even possible to be bad when you don't have any lines. The parody tripe continues with movies, the news and World War Two. Someone even gets blown up and comes out all black-faced with tattered clothes. There was drama in Crinkly Bottom's twin town Dangly End. What is it with Edmunds and anal prolapse jokes? Highlight of the tape is a pair of meetings between comedy greats. <laughs> Look at her teeth go into that spam. I bet she imagined she's nibbling at my ear all. <laughs> Props for the way they use Blobby's hand to cover the stunt double's face. As a treat, we get some footage of the theme park before it fell into disarray. But just when you think you've got all the answers, Blobby changes the questions. In the last video, he had a wife and child, but now he lives with Noel. Bald, divorced, and a Tory. Blobby's Twitter must be a right state. Not surprised she left him though. Absolute menace. <laughs> The trilogy caps off with 1996's All New Adventures of Mr. Blobby, which hopefully won't be another load of done to death parodies. <laughs> Oh, turds. Hold the front page! Oh, but interestingly, after being all over the first two tapes, Noel's conspicuous by his absence. Having started life as a throwaway gag, the roles had reversed, leaving Noel as the sidekick. In 1998, under plummeting ratings, 
he publicly disavowed Blobby, writing him off house party altogether, feeling the pink shit had reduced his highbrow festival of gunge and audience degradation into dumbed down monosyllabic slapstick. This 1996 tape marks an early distancing, with Noel's name missing from the credits, and he must have really put his foot down, as even in voiceover bits that could have been him, they've employed the use of a sound alike. Oh, I'll be high. Look, would you go to the bank for me? Oh, bloody! Right, now, look, careful coming home. I don't want you to hurt anyone. Oh, please. But anyone would be wise to wash their hands of this a detestable series of extended skits from the TV show, meaning viewers paid actual money for footage considered not good enough for Noel's house party. Regard, the turgid laziness of a sketch about going to the optician, which wastes a full minute showing Blobby getting out of bed. This is an entire video of Blobby throwing things about or falling a bit. <laughs> There's a real energy of, oh no, have I tripped over? Oh dear, I've gone and knocked this all over the place. For some properly smelly physical comedy. As these are from House Party, there's actual proper actors to pull aghast expressions at Blobby's antics, like Charlie Hungerford off Bergerac, and the vicar off keeping up appearances. Do you think you're doing? It's like a curtain call of Millard brand entertainment, as well as blokes off Dad's Army. There's Blackburn, Diana Weston off The Upper Hand, Elmo Putney off Brushstrokes, Nasty Nick, and the bloke who did the Indiana Jones chocolate orange ad. Terry's famous chocolate orange. Smooth milk chocolate with real oil of orange. How safe is yours? The most notable sketch sees Blobby water skiing. Now remember what I told you. Keep your eye on the boat, watch out for the waves, and don't do any tricks. But the slightly off-brand, lightweight costume they stuck the skier in has weird fucked up lips. Blah 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 blah. As evidenced by these videos, Blobby functions best as an idea, as a lurking danger, out there, somewhere, waiting to burst through the wall and start trashing the place. That's why his legend has thrived in the post-house party years. More than just a man, more than just a Blobby, he embodies the random chaos of the universe. You finally feel like you've got life sorted, and then your fridge breaks or the test results come back bad. Consequently, this rampaging bollock will outlive us all. Noel Edmonds, the BBC itself, secure in his status as the Great British Cryptid. <laughs>